right, guys. Just getting adjusted here. That's good. So, how is everyone doing today? Let's go ahead and... Well, actually, still trying to get adjusted. But, those who have not been in a stream like this before, surprise for y'all. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get this transitioned over. All right, what's going on? What's up, guys? I don't know if you guys have ever seen me before, but um, do a little bit of face cam since I'm not working out. I'll just uh, close it. Simple enough. Oh man, there's a volcanic eruption in Iceland. What's new? What's up, AMM? Welcome to the live stream. Georgia, let's see. Defense attempts to seduce the court with a tearful plea. Tumbo. from Palakarn, welcome to the live stream. I'm gonna unmod you for how rude you are. Go ahead and hunger strike against the government's anti-environmental po policy useless. Did not share convictions about the means of action. Hunger strike does not seem to be the best means to break the head of state, head of government. See, I always see that happen, but like it's like usually there's like some sort of progression that happens whenever that whenever they go on a hunger strike, but it never goes through. So I guess it's like Oh, whatever. Whatever. I need to reduce this deficit. That's actually what we need to do in this episode, is we need to reduce the deficit today. We're gonna increase the income tax. Georgia's going to take over the world. Let's go. I always die first year because I attack France. Oh, I wonder what... Why? Let's see what the public reaction will be to this. I wonder if a TV address will fix this. I actually. Twenty-seven, twenty-two, eighteen. Gonna somewhat progressivize this income tax. Yep, that actually worked. DRGs and two for it. Uh, they are actually our coalition for right now. I wonder if I can add anyone to the coalition. Dissolving the coalition. Dissolution of coalition has public and political consequences, decrease in popularity. The founder of the coalition, after this public political failure, deterioration in relation to the next member parties of the coalition, and resignation of their ministers and the government, if any, making it much more difficult to pass laws in the parliament. Yeah, I wonder if it also says, oh yeah, it also will uh, collapse the government. Let's see what I got, current budget, $45 million. Let's go. Let's go. Taxation. So that will actually lower... Let's actually see what the public reaction to that tax increase will be. Yep. Damn, that really pissed off the collective for consumer rights. Sit in 
kinds of purchasing power. Keep me posted. Yeah, that did lose me a little bit of approval. Verdict announced. Wait, what was the verdict? Hang on. Hold on, Chief! A heavy fine. It's always a heavy fine. Never got why it's always a heavy fine. Banning organizations that non stop protest is fun. <laughs> Christ, 28 people are currently at the hospital after these blunders. And if the music is too loud, let me know. I'm actually going to turn it down just a tiny bit. I think that'll work. terrorists, but whatever. Construction. Five. We're gonna hold back on the spending for right now, Chief. Public def structural deficit, point two nine. What's going on, Matt? Welcome to the live stream. Budget deficit, $1.49 billion. Oh, wait. Camera's on? Wow! Wow, the camera's on! <laughs> I did promise a higher minimum wage. Ooh, I can actually get that passed. Camera's on, let's go. Hell yeah, let's go. Bill Nye is on CNN. Who the hell is this guy? He's so muscly. Some reporter with a undercut and with Kenosha. Security. Should I go to proportional? Why does my eye hurt so much? Okay, what was the minimum wage promise? Oh. Oh, zoinks. <laughs> Maybe I promised a little too high minimum wage. Twenty-two. Let's see how that passes. God. Yeah, that's a never gonna happen. Try TV address again. Of course, that doesn't work. Just gonna have to increase it like one dollar at a time. Made inquiries on where to get a van. Is that a pedophile or a ter terrorist? Oh my god, purchasing power. What? What'd I do? Really? Everyone hated it? There was a sit-in about it? And everyone actually liked the that? Has been bought Times you need to drink that Dr. Pepper. Don't worry about it. Did I promise higher uh, fortune tax? Large fortunes, 3%. I think we could do that. At least tell me we can do that, Parliament. Getting a little tired, BG. No, nah, it's just my eyes for some reason. For some reason, I don't, I don't know why this happens to me, but whenever there's like 40 things in front of me, so I have like three screens, right? 
I have a webcam right there. I have my mic right here. And it's so fucking... Even though there's not... Like, my desk is, you know, completely clean. Um, you know, beside my phone and Dr. Dr. Pepper or whatever. It fucks with my brain. <laughs> Someone's gonna have to donate. I just said fuck. I said fuck twice. Um, but yeah, it's like... It just... It, it, it fucks with me. And I don't know why. So, it's... If I look a little tired right now because i don't feel tired it's just like uh but i want to do the webcam i want to do and if my quality looks a little bad it's because my actual webcam let me actually show you guys i don't know whatever happened to it but it just, it just it's it's all unstable it's a very nice camera and it even lights up and shit like that's what that is that's a light but um i don't know it just Stop working. Actually, someone send me a campaign contribution of $120. You should send me a campaign contribution so I can survive as Prime Minister of Georgia again. It is a nice camera. This is a very nice camera, and I would like to buy another one of these. I'm actually uh, finally about to start working again, so I'll uh essentially be on a on a schedule uh for content creation once i do oh political minute hey i just noticed you were in the chat what's up uh guys uh everyone go subscribe to political minute um he makes some pretty good uh infographics literally kind of teaches you about whatever in a minute <laughs> um excuse me very interesting content that Political Minute makes. Uh, he was actually known as Election Minute uh, a while ago. So, uh, again, go and subscribe to uh, Political Minute as well. Go subscribe to... What the fuck? Go subscribe to Matt Gagnon as well. Help Matt Gagnon hit a thousand subscribers. Matt, you can post your link in the chat if you want. Uh, and Political Minute, you can also do that as well if it'll let you. Um, but yeah, uh, everyone go subscribe to those two. Help Matt hit a thousand subscribers. He is doing a $1,000 giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. So help my boy Matt Gagnon hit a thousand. I really want to help him hit a thousand. I'm not even getting paid for it. I just want to see him hit a thousand. That way I can say ha. Just so I have something to hold against him. Airline ticket tax. Unless you make a mod, yeah. Go ahead and post both. If you can. If not, I'll post them. One sub equals one pray prayer. <laughs> yeah, literally. Here we are. Um, I'm going to let those two taxes pass, and then what I'm going to do is we're going to do a tax reform. We're going to push through a tax reform and uh, hope to God that these um, editing, of it, editing a video hold up. Thanks for the shout out. I did rebranding due to how far apart my channel was from the, direct, from the election community on YouTube. The election community, you haven't been around in a while, so I'll go ahead and run you up to speed. The election community on YouTube has been taken over by 12-year-olds. It, it has been taken over by 12-year-olds. They call themselves the Mark Kirk cult. Just 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 end your career there now. Like don't don't get involved. <laughs> Local languages. We're going to cut that. Finally get the watch of power and revolution stream. What's going on, Keeper88? Never seen you here. Welcome to the live stream. No one wants to open a foreign exchange program with me. Like, ever. I don't know why. Turkey, can you please? Can you, can you, can, 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 
can you can you, can you please can you please 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 damn it because my country's tiny what about bulgaria <gasps> yay fuck yeah okay so bulgaria and romania refused but Bulgaria, see, we're only like a quarter of their economy. So I guess their GDP has to be within a certain range of yours. Oh, let's definitely open one up with uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. PG Putty cutting funding for an education just so he can buy an aircraft carrier. Finland! Fuck, man. Refuse Bosnia Herzegovina. Except, so we now have student exchange. God, my fucking eyes. What about Estonia? Who the f- <laughs> What? This pristine snow is the setting in which these athletes will now shine, whose soul aspires to nothing more than to surpass their individual limits. I wish them good luck in representing their nation with a fair play spirit and in reaching the highest steps of the podium. I declare open the Olympic Winter Games. I wonder how long into the decades they, uh, they have these uh, Olympic Games going. You won't give all right again for those who are watching this live stream go ahead and subscribe to the political minutes and subscribe to matt gagnon matt gagnon just posted the links in the chat so go ahead and subscribe to them uh political minute makes some pretty good political uh explanation videos and uh, matt gagnon uh does uh, interviews with politicians and candidates for political office Go and subscribe to Matt Gagnon if you want to uh, earn a chance to win $1,000 whenever he hits 1,000 subscribers. So glad now that we have a student exchange program with Bulgaria. That is very good because it helps us out, helps our economy out. We can also not click around, um, help out the economies of other nations. What about Kosovo? Do they like me? No. Well, let's try one with Greeks. They have a similar economy to Bulgaria. Yeah, of course. Hell. Okay, so law and tax. How much you want to bet? Hmm. Hmm. Prime Minister, I am forced to resign my position. I disagree with the government policy to penalize large fortunes. I don't believe it is in my best inter. The best interests of the country. I don't believe that it's in my best, in uh, the best interests of the country. Do we know why? 
formerly the Minister of Homeland Security. Now we have to appoint another one. God damn it. Yeah, to subscribe to Councilman... City Councilman Corbin Palacarn. If I'm saying that name correctly. A lot of manpower in the services sector. Getting agriculture 5.4% of the budget. Uh, we also have a completely renewable economy. Only the best content. Yeah, like the three videos of a city council hearing that you have. This is actually a good idea. Literally just building hydroelectricity plants, even though it's like, you know, a couple at a time. You don't have to build like, you know, like 20,000 of them. The bill has been... And the bill has been voted on, but the law has not been passed. I totally should have made a coalition with the UTR. This is just kind of like a weird coalition now. What's going on, Quackshot? Welcome future mayor in chat? Do we have a future mayor in chat? Mac Agnan is also running for uh, his uh, city's mayoral position. I'll try to be covering that election on this channel. Are you president in real life? Yes. That's the best content. Keep coping. <laughs> Apparently I'm coping. Oh yeah, Mr. Gagnon, a uh, certain person that me and you mutually know, and uh, has admitted, he has admitted, I actually completely forgot to do that cabinet appointment, he actually admitted that he thinks that the Republicans are going to be winning the House come November 2022. So, I think corruption has also gone down. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's funny. Politics Gaming is the uh, real-life president of Georgia. Yes, I, I am the I am the true president of, of Georgia. Um, so uh, that that that, that I've, I've been revealed. I've been revealed, guys. God, they de they rehabilitate these houses like lightning fast. What if I... Ooh, oh, yeah. Eleven. I am president of McDonald's. Thank you for your service. About twelve. Exactly. It'll cost a million dollars. Hell yeah! Alright, I guess every time we're gonna increase the minimum wage, it's just gonna be like a dollar at a time until we hit fifty. Can get that done within like two years, I think. Bought a canister of gas, made inquiries of where to get a van. What is this guy doing? Is it tax reform time? It is almost tax reform time. Let's see what we got. Elections. Secondary highway, 100 miles. How much is that going to cost? 64 million, and that will hold up. 400 men. We have our manpower back, by the way. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go over here. Hydroelectricity. Let's build two hydroelectricity plants. Let's do... Two hundred and seventy million dollars and two hundred and eighty one million dollars. We're, we're going to spend okay, two hundred and ninety two million dollars. We're going to spend about a billion dollars on this. You know what? Actually, no. Twenty five, one hundred and eighty eight. Save a hundred million dollars there. Cost us about six hundred and forty eight million dollars over the next five years. 
And... Eh, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll sacrifice 4,000 people to get some electricity in about 12 months. Just kind of sacrifice it every now and then. I'm president of my barracks. I'm president of... Something. Order up a general mobilization. <laughs> 4,000, 18,000 reservists, 18,000 conscripts. We have 33,000 men in the military overall. Interesting comic quack shot. What can we reform here? We continue to reform middle. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what? Okay. Oh. Thank God. Thank God. What did you think of the Go Virginia gubernatorial race? I missed your stream on it. Um, I, 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 I went in expecting that there would be a, uh, uh, Democrat victory. Um... A lot of other people made fun of the fact that I said that I was going to eat a shoe because of how sure I was um, that Mr. Youngkin was not going to be uh, in, that was not going to win, but I was wrong. Now everyone tells me to eat a shoe, even though the shoe eating is in there. It is in there, and I think Gagnon remembers it. Gagnon was there with me. I ate a shoe. I ate, I mean, like, I bit into a shoe, but, but, in a couple of months, I'm actually going to make a dedicated video to it before the 2022 primaries. I promise you, I promise you guys, there will be a video of me eating a shoe cake, or a live stream, probably going to be a live stream. I'm just going to be sitting there talking, just eating a cake, some people are, it's going to be to a point, it's going to be an a point in time whenever everyone is just kind of forgets about it, and then they're just going to see me go on and go, PG eats a shoe live. Like, <laughs> eat it again just to be safe. I don't have a shoe disposable right now. Okay. Let's add this to the reform. Let's go ahead and call this the growth and economic growth act of Made you think Terry was gonna win. Uh, Virginia is a blue state, but Terry's campaign sucked. I understood that Terry's campaign sucked, but like I didn't believe that there was enough. I underestimated it. Is the best way to say it. I underestimated the strength of the Young King campaign, and under and uh, I guess overestimated the. Um, people and what direction that campaign was going in because there was only like one poll that came out that literally said that young Ken was going to win by eight and that was and at that point i was like okay 
that sentiment is there and I was even kind of telling it to myself I wasn't really broadcasting it on my channel but at that point whenever that poll came out from Fox News I was like okay something is there but I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna I'm gonna play it safe and say McAuliffe is gonna win because again Virginia is a blue state and that's what I was kind of doing it was kind of like it's a blue it's it's it was kind of like as if like a Republican or were to win in like Illinois or in uh, New York or maybe even in California most likely it's kind of comparable to like a Republican winning in like New Mexico or something so yeah and and, and it was mainly because of McAuliffe McAuliffe ran a really bad campaign he said a lot of stupid crap and it wasn't even you know scandal ridden there was no scandals McAuliffe just tried to make it a federal race or whenever it wasn't a federal race McAuliffe sucked and and I, I was even telling myself, I'm glad to be wrong. <laughs> like, y'all can prove me wrong. You want to prove me wrong? Go ahead. It's right there. Off your state elections favor Republicans who who would have guessed. Yeah, but we're talking about Virginia right here. Virginia hasn't voted for a Republican since 2009, right before the 2010, like, wave election. And the other thing is that... <laughs> yeah, off-year elections always favor those who are out of power. But then at the same time, we're talking about Virginia. We're talking about a state that is not Republican by any means, especially in the places that flipped to the Republicans. Could this mean Republicans have a chance to win in 2024? 80% no. <laughs> but things can change, just like it did this year. Off your elections but favor Republicans, yes, they do statistically. But it also depends on how good of a campaign those candidates can run. Yeah. And that's what I was about to say is what election it is just said. Yes, they voted for Republicans in or yes, they uh, these off-year elections favor Republicans, but this was a very high turnout election. Those elections that we are talking about were very low turnout. The 2013 race, or the 2009 race, in which a Republican won, that was like under 45% turnout for that election. But then in 20... In 2012, they they voted for Obama. In 2014, they voted for Democrats. In 2013, they voted in an off-year election, broke like 50 years of trends, and voted for a, for a Democrat whenever a Democrat was in power. So, it's... Yeah... That, that, that statistic is there, but that statistic hasn't really stuck since 2009. Because in every other election since then, 2000, not in a 2013, 2014, 2016, 2018, they've consistently voted Democrat at the state level and at the federal level. So anyway, let me go ahead and uh, continue on with this uh, tax reform. Did you who won more seats in the election? Uh, shout out from Camp No. It's Camp No. 
one more seat in the election. What do you mean? Sorry for causing the stream to go off topic. No, you're fine. I don't really have that many uh, podcasts where I literally, you know, get these thoughts out enough. So um, I don't mind getting a little off topic like that. Can I eliminate this? No, of course not. Do you make money off the oil industry in the game? Yeah. In real life, I wish. Okay, let's see about adding an income tax to this. Are you kidding me? How did the... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, now, okay, yeah, I need to meet with political leaders to get this passed. Let's meet with the coalition. I guess that TV address really messed it up. Strong suspicions that... Hack under... See our answer in about one week. What? Not even in the European Union. Zoink, Scoob! There's riots! Proceed with an arrest, I guess. I think many people can attest that riots are probably one of the stupidest things to be put in power and revolution. Oh no! <laughs> Are you close to joining the European Union? No. Oh no! Oh shit! Run, Scoob, run! <laughs> They're after us! They got a scoop. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Oh shit, they got the... Shit, I have meetings. Sure. I... Yeah. It's like, oh, this guy. Minimum wage. No problem. Yay! <laughs> No problem. No problem. I'd be Hello from Georgia. What's up, boy? I'm sorry. No problem. Yay! They've supported my tax reform. 
Ooh, the DRG especially supported attacks reform. Oh, we gotta. Why is my, why is my approval rating sixty percent? <laughs> Just shot some. <laughs> oh shit. Oh man, this game's about to end. Uh. Zoinks! <laughs> we might get the pose, Scoob! God, oh jeez. Oh jeez, man. Oh jeez. Rick, I don't know about this, Rick. Rick, I don't know about... I don't know about this. Creation of higher consciousness. Wait, what was that one thing that literally got, like, got me, like, a shit ton of approval? Throw grenades there. Yeah, there we go. All out strike against You wanted a showdown and well, you got it. We have ordered an unlimited general strike. The main industrial sectors will be affected as well as transport. At this time, the call to mobilize the workers continues and has had a huge response in this How did I reduce it? <laughs> I just got into this game. I did not. What? Beat his ass, beat his ass, beat his ass! Why am I getting notifications from the European Union? We have. Oh man, this is gonna be fun whenever this passes. Now there's protests. Building several cities more than 12,000 blood sucking policies and increasing poverty in the country.
Dude, my government is just completely collapsing at this point. I don't know what is going on. The household purses remain desperately empty. Log Thought it was laughter. Hang on. It's because of the tax reform. I'm gonna have to withdraw it. See what happens. Oh yeah, that just exploded the deficit. You have just cancelled the reform that was under deliberation. Don't worry. The strike has finally brought it away at the whole territory. We are done for. We are done for. <laughs> I think this is the end of the Georgia series. must always have a strong and responsible state. Therefore, I have decided to establish martial law throughout our country, which will be enforced as long as the threats currently jeopardizing our nation have not disappeared. Limited strike against retirement age. Why is everyone? Ooh, ooh, ooh! <laughs> okay, let me <laughs> let me get rid of Marshall Wallen right now. <laughs> Wait, there's multiple riots. Seriously? We have subdued We have subdued the rebel move Listen, you should Thought it would be possible to see strong Georgia. No, this is just literally what happens after I introduce a tax reform that I thought was needed, but then everyone else is just like, when the past gives birth to monster. What the hell is this? Oh. That was a Jurassic discovery. Is there any way that PG can get out of this situation? Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z.
I really need to figure out a way to get out of this. I don't want to. I don't want to restart this save. Oh wait, media. I remember this got me like a shit ton of approval last time. Yes. <laughs> How to stop your country from going into civil war. <laughs> Invest in 5G. Oh no, Scoob. <laughs> Super high speed. I want I need I need to spend I need to spend spend uh my treasury balance on this shit. Ten percent, let's do it. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I just stopped a civil war from occurring literally by investing in 3G or in a uh, uh, multimedia infrastructure. Daily professional life. In real life, Mojo, but most Georgians are scared of 5G. This 55 megabytes per second. TVs per capita. 92% of the country is now internet users. Deficit. Fuck. Christ, why is 5G starting to get more expensive? Eight billion dollars. Stuck in 
can't believe we just survived that. But, guys, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you guys want to see more content like this, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Whenever I do go live, whenever I do post, I don't have really have a schedule as of yet. Probably will have one very soon. Apparently, uh, Russia's relations just changed. He was there a presidential election in Georgia or in Russia? And there was 2030 election results. The CLP barely wins. Apparently, the Russians really like to have these little squeakers. Socialist Labor League about in Moscow. Vladimirskaya. Sky. We should do a Russia playthrough. Did you really just stop the revolution by investing in 5G? <laughs> Literally. Damn it! Share. How? Yeah. That's the. I'm sorry. Hey, what's up, uh, Giray? Giray? Ray, that's definitely how you say it. I have seen, I have not seen you. I knew it was the 5G. I knew it was the 5G behind it all along. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? We would prefer. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? Very well. Start by fulfilling your promises and then we'll see. Oh, we should have your skin. For 5G to the union leader. Maybe we won't survive these. Because if everyone is just going to start striking, like... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not too, I'm not too sure about the future of my administration in Georgia anymore. This might be the last episode. <laughs> if it gives me the, uh, the option to resign, uh, I'll, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and resign. We have strong suspicion. Zoinks! Had an altercation. Okay. Oh, electoral promises. Oh, I wonder. Y'all need to. Y'all need to just wait. <laughs> y'all need to wait. Done with this shit. Did that tax reform pass? In the stream now and resign 10 seconds into the next stream. <laughs> I'm gonna guess part 11 could be the last one. That way I can uh, start going on to other projects and streams and stuff. 
What do you guys want to see next? Do you guys want to see Turkey? Do you want to see Greece? Do you want to see Iran? Do you want to see... What else we got? Maybe Spain? The United Kingdom? I've never played the United Kingdom on this channel. The Kingdom of Norway? Sweden? Finland? The Ukraine? No, 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 no. no. I'm, do I'm done with these kinds of countries right here. Anything that's like... Outside of a... It has to be outside of this this region right here. Literally, the only other power play and enemy that we have is the Russians. Occupy North Ossetia as your last move, or you are a coward. Somalia, no. That's a hard no. Hard no there, Chief. Maybe an African nation? South Africa? Mozambique? Kenya? Maybe I could do Kenya. Italia? Go out into blaze of glory and invade Russia. I don't know what region this area is in. of other countries that we could play. Indonesia could be a good one. Australia? Oh, well, we actually have really good relations. Wait, we have good relations with Australia again. I completely forgot. <laughs> so the CLP now is in power in Australia. I remember we had, like, really cold relations with Australia for a while. Like, we even had a... Or have... No. No, we did have a free trade agreement with with them. And Jesus Christ, our our free trade agreement with uh with Japan is now worth 904 billion dollars. And I guess this is going to kill my economy. We have not signed a free trade agreement in nearly 10 years. Since the European... Well, okay. Hang on. Let's try this. If the European Union doesn't accept us, then we're going to sign a free trade agreement with the United States. This is going to be the last time we apply for the, the European Union. If they don't do that, then we're just going to go ahead and say, screw it, and we're going to... Uh, file for a free trade agreement, start negotiations with the United States for free trade agreement. Or we could sign one with Turkey. Kind of would make sense to file one with Turkey. Well, I don't know. Um, file accepted by the European Union. Most likely not going to get in. We did get into NATO, so we did, you know, get some sort of uh, um, good foreign policy achievement there. Other foreign policy achievements were South Ossetia, 
Abkhazia. What does the European Parliament look like at the moment? I don't know. We can't see the European Parliament. Um, well, actually, yeah, we can see the European Parliament uh, after we get a vote for membership. See, here it is. 14, 6, 8, of course. Did we ever flip any votes? No, no, no. You Parliament. Parliament still doesn't like us. I want to see what European elections look like, honestly. If you join, you'll find out. This is what the European Parliament looks like. The EPG is against us now. Huh. Now the ESA is for us. For some reason, we made the EPG hate us, and then now the ESA for us. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go for a free trade agreement with the United States. I'm just going to go all the way, and we're going to sign a global economic contract with the United States. Windows 2000 in the stream. Let's go. After almost a de after a almost a decade of being refused by the European Union and a couple of strikes. Contract rejected? You kidding me? Failed. Country's too small to trade volume would between the two countries would be too small. Perhaps he would even lose money in the exchange. <laughs> what do we do now? What do we do now? <laughs> I thought this content of government workers regarding their salaries. I thought they said they wouldn't protest. Wait, that was a military. Damn it. Civil servant. Let's increase everyone's salary to 1200 The police unions have struck too? Ah! Send in the boys. Send in the boys. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Aha. We have subdued the rebel. For the moment. Powers. You are get What about an improved free trade agreement with the European Union? The Commission has deliberated and has agreed to put this commercial contract to a vote. It will take place after the next 
to tell me you. Too. You know what? I just real I just realized if we were pushing for a free trade agreement, like a better free trade agreement with the with the European Union, I think that could have given us membership. Wow, it took me ten years to realize this. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> you changed what did you do to piss them all off so much I don't know Faithful friend, what did you tell him, friend? Here is our growth for He's gonna tell him. He's gonna reveal all the secrets of the government. <laughs> you reckon they just sat there? Like, oh, it took you 10 years to figure this out, huh? Denied. Our agents have. Hurry up. If we, if we yield today, we'll be opening the door to countless others. Aha! Seven and a half percent! Ha ha ha. Ha. Yikes. Let's see. You know, not that. I want to see how many points I've gotten. Mission, 297,000. Popularity. Accepted laws. Oh, those accepted laws literally provide, like, jack shit. Per year bonus is 9,000. Warning from my side of the world. Yeehaw! Can't wait to upload this score. Yeah, let's go ahead and go over a couple more weeks. I think we'll go ahead and end the series here. We'll find out what else we can play. I want to get a I want to get three hundred thousand points for this. So let's go over what we did for Georgia, even though. We are pretty unstable politically right now. Economically, we're pretty sound. We've lowered the debt. We started off with a $2.2 billion budget deficit. We've gotten that budget deficit now to $390 million. We started out with 60% uh, GDP to uh, 
debt and uh 60 and a half percent and then we got that all the way down to 14.14 percent we have a treasury reserve we're getting surpluses about every year we've only incurred like one debt uh quarterly debt um within the past like seven or eight years so uh <laughs> government spending has definitely gone up since then um so budget 2021 we had 20 billion apparently we've gone up only a billions that's impossible Budget deficit was 9% in 2021. It is now literally nothing. Budget deficit, 2.2 billion to 390 million. Structural de deficit was 6.88% uh, in 2021. We got it that we've gotten that down to 1.83%. Debt servicing was 2.3%. We are now negative 2.04%. Public debt, 60% to 14%. Public debt was $14 billion. We've cut that in half. Sectors nationalized, we had $167 million in profits. In sectors nationalized, we've got that up to a $1 billion in profits. And again, we have Treasury Reserve. Uh, inflation, we started off with a 5.2826% inflation rate. We've got... It, that's gone up to 8.36%, That is, but that is mainly because of the economic growth. The biggest thing that we have seen is... If I can actually finance. GDP, we started off with a $23.8 billion GDP. We are now at $53.7 billion GDP. Exports, we are up $4 billion compared... Uh, in imports, we have uh, imported more product, mainly because of our developing economy. Trade balance, $74 billion to start off with. It is now down to $69.9 billion, so technically only down $4 billion. Again, mainly because of our developing economy. Price of oil for OPEC, $52 in 2021, $76 now. Uh, can, uh, main production... <clears throat> essentially became a gas exporting economy and hotel tourism continues to be our number three number three economic resource uh military way more power powerful than we started off with active personnel in 2021 was four thousand one hundred thirty dollar uh yeah dollars four thousand one hundred thirty uh, uh, personnel and now we are now 15,390 however our total amount including conscripts is 33,530 conscript uh, uh, total manpower in our military 18,000 reservists and 4,000 commandos um do, 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 police started off with a crime rate of 4.59 and that is now down to 3.3 uh, uh, uh homicides per 100,000 <clears throat> policemen per capita uh per 1,000 capita 1.14 to start off with 2.41 now 5,649 police officers to start off with we are now up to 12,298 12, drug addiction rate is going up 1.89 to start off with 2.77 as of now uh killed in road accidents per year uh 829 uh to start off with 504 uh, as of right now salaries have definitely been going up but inflation has not been able to be uh we have not been able to keep up with inflation so we need to take note of that for next series justice uh, prison population was 0.196 to start off with. It is now 0 0.075, so prison population has gone down, probably because population has gone up. Crime rates, pretty much minimal, um, but they have actually been going down, kind of like staying relatively the same. Healthcare, national health expenditures was 9.02 to start off with, 8.94 to, uh, to as of right now. 
Life expectancy was 77 years in the beginning, 95 years as of right now. Child mortality rate was 14.68. Start off with 10.25 now. Population for medical doctor, 875. Start off with 149 as of now. Population per, per hospital bed, 77. Now 123 now. So that's actually gotten a little bit worse. <clears throat> Sura positive is, on, is down. Uh, eight, deaths due to AIDS is down, even though we have discovered the, uh, uh, the cure, I think. Overdose is actually up, and it's continued to go up. Do we have any of these? So start off with mortality rate was 10. Mortality rate now is 5. Population at the beginning was 4.9 million. Population now is 0.5 million. Infant mortality rate was 14.68. It is now 10.25. And life expectancy is now at its cap of 95 years. And continuing on education. Higher education students was 1.54 to start off with. 1.92, almost 2%. Uh, as of right now. Higher education students was 76,006 to start off with, and it is currently about to hit 100,000 higher education students. Illiteracy rate was 0.2. Illiteracy rate now is 0.19. Primary school attendance rate was 99.06 and is now 99 exactly. Student teacher for primary schools was 8. And student teacher secondary was 8 at the beginning. That is now 5.95 uh, as of right now. Percentage of scientists per population was 0.12 in the beginning and 0.37 as of right now. Number of teachers was 98,000. Number of teachers is now 136,000. And salaries have doubled since our uh, uh, entrance in the office. And transportation... Cars per capita, 0.1, 0.1. Roads, thousands of miles, 12.7. Superhighways, 0.1 in the beginning, 0.3 now. Railroads have gone up about uh, 100 miles. We have now one airport that we built about maybe eight years ago. Eight, uh, eight or seven, like in between five to eight years ago. Number of electric vehicles is now 25% of the population or percent of the uh, vehicles that are driving. Price of fuel has gone down about a thousand uh, tow. Uh, price of fuel, including tax, has actually gone down a thousand dollars per tow. Research, discovery, patents per year is uh, the same. We don't, we don't get any Nobel prizes per year. Number of scientific discoveries already has gone up. Number of researchers, we already went through that. Number of higher education students already went through that. Uh, energy, let's look at energy. National consumption at the beginning was 8.46. It is now 8.89 terawatts. Uh, electricity uh, production was 8.9 at the beginning. It is now 11.81. Import-export balance is negative 0.43, so it stayed uh, relatively the same. Uh, electricity surplus was 0.2 at the beginning. It is now 2.49. Uh, fossil production was 2 terawatts at the beginning. We have now eliminated all fossil electricity production. Renewable e energy production was 6.9 at the beginning, 11.81 as of right now. Uh, CO2 emissions was... 0 0.010300 and it is now 0 0.032518 so is it on its way down it is we we haven't really been fighting co2 emissions and we are now in 2030 in which essentially the world will continue to start having more uh, uh large scale disasters Usually after 2030 is the day or it is the year in which, you know, you see a lot more of these and these are going to get a lot worse. So we're kind of like uh, picking a hell of a time to uh, uh, get out of office. Uh, so farming 
here to statistics here. Uh, usually these are kind of weird to kind of go over. Media, we invested a lot to stop a revolution, essentially. Um, over the past 10 years, we have still remained a republic. We are a parliamentary democracy as of right now. We changed that in accordance to what Georgia is actually doing in real life. They actually were a presidential system from their inception in 1995 and then have now become a parliamentary democracy. Or at least the next election they are going to have, they're going to send that to a 300, they call it a 300 member electoral college. So essentially they are now becoming a parliamentary democracy. Um, and we went through one parliamentary election previews here. Sports. I think we're doing, don't really need to go over any of this. We tried to join the European Union. We were unsuccessful with that. Um, we have political coalition with, uh, one of the, with the, with the right political party, uh, the democratic right group, we are the conservative liberal party. We have one coalition with them. Coalition hasn't really done uh, gone anywhere, but we do have a successful coalition. Um, taxation. Can we go over anything here? Gini coefficient of income inequality between the rich and the poor. Zero it means perfectly equal. Was 38.38 and a half at the beginning, and is now 24.17. Let's also mission bonuses for popularity, 285,568 bonuses for diplomatic alignments, uh, head of state only was 3,020 bonuses for accepted laws, eight, uh, head of state only 820 bonuses for causing unrest zero. Oh, that, that's uh, for opposition per year bonuses, 9,000. So we have now gone through successfully nine years of uh, uh of gameplay so we've been in office for nine years almost 10 years in 2020 2031 we will be in office for 10 years time and power days 3491 diplomatically aligned countries 65 and this is all on uh, non-COVID mode. Maybe in the next one we can actually do COVID mode. Um, media, culture, books published is actually going down. Movies produced per year is down. Cultural budget is up, even though. What's going on, Cicada? Welcome to the live stream. Always kind of like see your live streams here and there. Housing, unhealthy housing was 9% in the beginning and it is now 2.7%. Great number, 270. Rate of urbanization is up. Population growth is up to nearly one. Great. Uh, immigration rates is up barely. And homeless people is down by about 200. I really need to find out a really effective homelessness policy. That way, I, I hear about like it's like the, the the like minimum solidarity allowance or something like that. I need to do that. Can't live stream for a week. Why? But let's see, thirty-seven, thirty-five. I think one of these was like forty. I think heart disease was like forty percent. So we have actually successfully. Reduced heart disease. And strokes, I think, has gone up. But it's still gone down. But because of the share of the pie. Okay. I do like this cause of death mortality rate. I, I really need to start paying more attention to these. But I really, I really did actually pay attention to these. Over time. YouTube gave me a warning. Jeez. Um, but guys, if you guys like this, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you guys want to see more content like this, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss anything on this channel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the uh, Republic of Georgia here. If you guys want to see more content, go ahead and give me some suggestions. That are... Go ahead.
go ahead and give me some suggestions of what you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see Greece? Do you want to see Turkey? Do you want to see Greece? Do you want to see um, a pretty big European Union country? Possibly France, the United... Not the United Kingdom. Too soon? Don't play music on my streams anymore. I play, I play music as so long as it is uh, uh, non-copyrighted. Don't use, like like Taylor Swift, don't use like Elton John, don't use songs like that because that will get you uh, uh, warnings from YouTube. Um, especially if you don't have um, permission to use those songs. Um, copyright roll is really fun. But anyway, Greece, Turkey, uh, India, Pakistan, Iran, maybe even China. Nah, we're not gonna we're gonna continue to do like lower developed countries. We're not gonna be doing like very developed countries. Um uh, maybe an African nation. I saw a suggestion a suggestion for Angola, but um I wanna kinda stay out of southern Africa. I wanna do kinda like middle Africa. Middle Africa, maybe even northern Africa. Uh maybe Middle East. Russia, maybe we could do Russia. I haven't done one of those since like 2017. We could do Poland. Poland could be an interesting uh, country to play as. Not Germany. Maybe we could do some sort of like Eastern European country. North Korea. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I'm thinking Poland. We're going to be doing another uh, European country. We're already in the European Union. Maybe Norway. France, maybe. Um, maybe Central America. Uh, the Brazil series is coming. It's going to be like an actual like series. Or should the Brazil series just be a live stream? Nah, we're going to be doing like an actual like produced series of Brazil. Um, yeah, okay. So my suggestions, I think I'm going to be trying to pick between these. It's going to be Greece, Turkey, Iran, Pakistan, India, or Indonesia. That's what that's what it's going to be between. I'll go ahead and uh, do like a poll or something like that on my YouTube channel. So pay attention to the community tab. Um, but yeah, guys, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. You guys want to see more series this is going to be the end the final episode of the republic of georgia if you guys want to see more series like this go ahead and uh hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss whenever i do go live with that series um and just as a pointer no brazil is not going to be a bolsonaro series it is going to be as a different party but go ahead leave a like Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Join the Discord in the description. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching the series with me. Thank you guys uh, for joining me in developing Georgia. And even though we were not successful in joining the European Union, we are also a part of NATO. So we did achieve one international policy that we were set out on doing. So we did join NATO. Again, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and take care.